Uh, with DTE saying some people could be waiting until Saturday and beyond to get the power back on, families are forced to spend some sweltering days without air conditioning. It's asking a lot. Temperatures tomorrow expected to hit 90 degrees, so the power uh, really can't come back soon enough for so many. Megan Woods live in Detroit for us, uh, where there's plenty of cleanup that still needs to be done. Megan. That's right, Devin, Kimberly, we found the perfect spot to show you what people are facing. We're here on Fenton and Bennett, where you can see people are clearing up their yards. There are large tree limbs that have snapped off into people's yards. There's debris pretty much everywhere. And then you see there are power poles that are down. And on top of all of this, like you mentioned, there are power outages. From Detroit to Livonia to Redford, you'll hear a lot of these and see a lot of damage. What was your reaction? I can't say it on TV. Followed by hard work. It's more than I thought it was looking at it, but it's just hot. In addition to the damage, there's no power as temperatures continue to rise. It's, it's a little frustrating, but what are you going to do? You just, you pay them, but you, sometimes you don't get the service. We had water, but because it was so hot, we went through more water than we should. Hopefully it comes out so we could cook and... So you don't have to spend more money. <laughs> yeah, that's the, I'm trying to avoid spending money on DoorDash or... With DTE predicting 95% of outages will be restored by the end of Saturday, they're doing the best they can. They all, everyone looks out for one another. And that's the only way you're going to survive. Only way. And that, so we, we deal with it. So what's so difficult about this is uh, these power outages aren't just an inconvenience. Tonight at 6, we hear from people who are hoping DTE can get their power restored as soon as possible because their health depends on it. That's coming up in the next hour. Reporting live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. That's a large component of those who are waiting. All right, Megan.